The third part of dynamic graphing is to generate graphs from equations. So here we have a written equation, and we can highlight that just by clicking on it and gen um, recognize the math ink and accepting that as our equation. And then using the pull down menu, selecting math actions and generating a graph. Note that the y-intercept on a graph is at three. Now, as we edit our equation, we can open up our keyboard, select our, double click on our equation for the equation editor, and change our constant from three to zero and then seeing how that affects our graph. So now we see that the y-intercept is at zero. Notice the dynamic link between the equation and the graph. It'd probably be better to see in an example, we can see both equations on the same axis. So in the case of y equals x squared, if I again select both of this portion and recognize the math ink, I have the equation y equals x squared. If I now use the pull down menu and select math actions and generate a graph, the graph of y equals x squared. Highlighting the other equation and Using pull down menu to recognize the math, we have the equation y equals x squared plus 3. And as you notice, the blue box on the left of the equation, if I drag that to the graph, I can link that equation to the same grid and see the new graph appear with the original graph. To see this translation better, I may want to change the properties of the graph. So highlighting the graph, selecting properties and graph settings, and opening up my keyboard, I can start my x-axis at negative four, end at positive four, and have a step of one. And then I can start my y-axis at 0 and at 20 and have a step of 5 units. And as I click off, I can now better see that translation of y equals x squared to y equals x squared plus 3. Now, for in the dynamic graphing and linking and integrating, these applications, we can put all of these into one question. So here we have, this is job offers a one-time bonus of $30 and a pay rate of $10 per hour. Model this relationship using a table of values, a graph, and an equation. So trying to integrate all these three features. First of all, we would select the icon to produce a table. students would then use the keyboard to input values that they calculate. So at zero time, this would get their per bonus of $30. Then after one hour, this would be paid $40. After two hours, she would be paid $50. And let's say after five hours, she would receive $80. Now by highlighting the table and selecting with our pull down menu math actions, we can generate the graph. Now you see the points appear on the graph. 
the students could then calculate using the table or graph an equation for a line that goes through those points. So in this case, they could figure out that y would equals a rate of $10 per hour plus for $30 bonus. Now we see if we can recognize that with our math ink. And no, didn't recognize it, so I'm going to try that one again. Let's rewrite that. Y equals 10x plus 30. Hopefully this will now be picked up as an equation. That's better. So we have y equals 10x plus 30. Notice the blue box on the left of the equation. If I now drag that to the graph and link it, we now have the line appear on the graph going through the points. To check that that is the line through the points, we can press our icon in the hidden menu on the bottom of the graph. And as I press that icon, it should overlie that line. OK, so the students can check back and forth between the links between the equation, the graph, and the table. So as I highlight all three, we'll be able to see the links between all three components. Okay, the last step is to see um, our last icon on our secondary toolbar before the selection arrow is the TI emulator icon. And so with this, if you have TI Inspire Smart View or Smart View as a licensed product on your computer, you will be able to launch it with this icon. So as I click on the icon, I have a TI Smart View TI-84 on this computer. It may take a while to boot up. So we'll just wait for that as it opens. And then once I have it open, I'll be able to use it as a regular graphing calculator on my smart board. And as I produce graphs and lists, I'll be able to drag, drag and drop screenshots right onto my notebook page. So here we have the graphing calculator opened up, the emulator. And you can see we can go back and forth between different functions. So here we have a table. I can drag that table right from my screen onto my notebook page. I can ask for a graph of that. And I can, again, drag it from the screen right onto my notebook page. Or I can grab any one of the windows on the right and also drag it to the notebook page. As I close my graph and calculator emulator, I can now use these pieces in my notebook page anywhere I like to produce my lesson. A very great feature to have that integration between the TI emulator software and the notebook software. So this summarizes many of the applications that we've seen using smart notebook map tools.